Hi everybody, welcome back to my video blog today. If you are a buyer, investor, renter, or landlord, you're gonna wanna watch the rest of this video. Welcome back to the video blog. And today I'm gonna to be talking about a product that was put in front of me a few times, um, and it's called Say Rhino. Not sure where they came up with the name, but it's a great product. And here's what it does. It is a security deposit alternative that's available for renters and landlords. It's an insurance policy on the security deposit. So instead of the security deposit coming out of the tenant's uh, bank account, which you open up as a landlord, uh, the insurance company will be paying any damages that are due. One of the problems that it solves is as a landlord, the traditional way of doing the security deposit is you take the check from the, the new renter, then you go down to the bank, you have to sit with the bank teller, then open up the security deposit, you bring your W-9 and you also bring the lease. And it's about a half an hour to one hour process of just being in the bank. And then you have to supply quarterly statements, give them any interest that's due, which is pretty much like nothing. Um, but that's what's all legally required in the state of New Jersey. Now with Say Rhino, the security deposit alternative you basically just say yes to it, they sign up, and then they take care of all the security deposit issues um, before, during, and after the rental process is done. So that's basically it as a landlord. Um, now the second thing it lets you do, and it allows you to do, which I think is really important in today's market, is you can now compete with the luxury buildings that are offering low security deposit alternatives to renters and essentially taking renters away from you. So it's no secret, if you live in our area or just driving through, all you have to do is look up and you're gonna notice that there are new construction buildings everywhere. And there's tens of thousands of new construction luxury rental units coming to the market. So here's what happens. When one of these buildings is finished, they obviously have 100% vacancy, so they need to lease up. And in order to lease up fast, they're gonna offer incentives to renters, people that would otherwise be looking at your property are now being presented with a brand new luxury unit that's offering a low security deposit. And in some cases, rent reductions and free rent, right? So sometimes even one or two months of free rent. And these are amazing buildings. It almost feels like there's an amenity war going on. So it's pretty much standard that each building has a pool, a great fitness center. And in the newest building that I just saw, they even have a rock climbing wall. I don't know if I would ever use that, but if a property is $2,000, doesn't have a rock climbing wall, the other one's $2,000 and does have a rock climbing wall, I'm taking the one with the rock climbing wall every single time. So let's do some math so I can show you how this affects you as a common landlord. Let's say you're asking $2,000 for your property. On top of that, you're also gonna be asking for a one and a half month security deposit. So the total acquisition cost to move into your property is $5,000. Now the new construction property with the pool, with the fitness center, and the rock climbing wall is asking 2,500. At first glance, it's more expensive, extremely more expensive. But when you factor in the alternatives, now you're gonna see how that is direct competition to you. So if they're $2,500 and they're offering a $1,000 security deposit, well now it's only $3,500 to move into the luxury unit where it's $1,500 more to move into the regular property. So just upfront costs people are looking at and they're saying, well, if it's less expensive, I'll consider this luxury unit. And what they're doing is they're basically discounting this from their rent and looking at it as a net effective, right? So they're taking that $1,500 difference and they're factoring it into their rent price. So in their mind, that $2,500 apartment is now $115 a month less when they look at it in the overall yearly cost when you factor in the security deposit. Now, what's more is some of these buildings are even offering one or two months free rent. Now, when you look at the net effect of this, if you offer one month free rent on a $2,500 apartment, that nets out to 192 a month, plus the 115 per month for the lower security deposit, and all of a sudden, the luxury property that was $2,500 per month is now only netting out at $2,193. So honestly, $193 a month, you can have a brand new apartment with all of these amenities. Which one are you gonna go for? Now you see where our problem lies. So bring in, say, Rhino. 
Now moving into the $2,000 property is way more cost effective. And you see how as a landlord, this totally, totally levels the playing field. So I myself am trying out the product. I have a couple of properties in Journal Square in Jersey City that I'm signing up for Say Rhino. And listen, I don't know if I'm going to use the product or not, but if I have a good applicant that wants to take advantage of it, I have no problems using it. So if I have a great applicant that meets my credit and income requirements, they're willing to pay what I'm asking, and they want to take advantage of, say, Rhino, well, then I think that's a win-win situation, something I'm certainly open to. So I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, reach out to me on my cell phone. It's 551-200-1000, and my email is rosadorealtor at gmail.com. Thank you again, and I'll talk to you soon.